Hey cute people, this is what we're looking like on the northeastern part of the United States. So if you live in New York, I know you're definitely going through this. And if you are outside, oh my goodness, be careful. I didn't have to go out today, so I did not, but I have to go out tomorrow. And since I'm home today, I wanted to do a video about something I have been thinking about for quite some time. And of course, I wanted to share. So, I'm going to go somewhere, get comfortable, and get right into this video. I had been wanting to do this video for a long time. It weighed heavily on my heart, not in a bad way. Recently, I've come across someone in my life who I felt needed some affirmations. And I think they were seeking it from anyone who was willing to give them anything that was good and positive. Which is a good thing because some people are like that. This video is really just about we being cheerleaders to other people. I don't know if you, like me, have had cheerleaders in your life. I've had many, several, so many. I wanted to do this video a while ago, then I decided not to do it. Because when I started my YouTube channel, this is pretty much the vein I wanted to go into. Which is things that I felt passionately um, in my heart, my mind, my soul. But my channel took another turn. I do have some videos like this on my channel. So if I get a chance, I'll try to link some of them below. Because I would like to be inspiring to someone like some people have been to me. That's it, plain and simple. And when you are a mom, maybe you don't realize it now, but when you get older, you realize you've done some things that you wish you could take back and do differently. Maybe not even take back, but just do differently. But what I just want to say to anybody and everybody is just be a cheerleader to someone in your life. Like I said, I've had many cheerleaders. A cheerleader, as we know, someone who cheers you on from the sidelines, boosts you up when you, whether you need it or not, they just tell you things about yourself, not anything to boost your ego or anything like that but just things about you that they admire you know someone you see someone that you admire tell them that you admire that about them not necessarily anything physical or girl I love those shoes you have on that's great too we all like compliments but when I say cheerleader you are what Leah unkept and I saw her video and that made me decide to go on and do it after you know I left a comment on her page that I had wanted to she said sure you should I said sure why not because being a cheerleader she words it as being a person of influence to someone I've always called it a cheerleader because you are rah 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 somebody on your girlfriend you think that she will make a great supervisor on the job chill on so she could put that application in child you don't want the job so let somebody else do it you know what I'm saying you admire the fact that you have a friend that makes goals and they reach their goals let them know that's something that you admire about them those things are so simple to do because I don't care who we are in life you always want people to affirm that you're doing a great job or you have great things about you those great things are things that you may never ever have known about yourself like I said without going into too much I had a real good friend I had to contact her too I haven't spoken to her in a long time that girl was so encouraging to me that I just couldn't believe how encouraging she was. And because of her encouragement made me do a lot of things that I wanted to do. I hadn't really even discussed with anybody and didn't even tell her. Because she encouraged me in other ways, told me things about myself. I was like, wow, I never really realized that or I had realized it. But not to the effect that she told me it made me feel really, really good. You can be a cheerleader to anybody but like I said it's not really about telling them how good they look those things help too but it's really about the things that you admire about the person you know what I'm saying you really admire because those little things that you tell someone on any given day becomes the reason why they make a goal set it and then reach it you know and try to do it I when I was young my stepfather to me was a cheerleader but I really didn't recognize it. And even though he told me things that made me feel good about myself, I really didn't reflect on it until I was much older because it wasn't like a constant thing, but it was there. So when I thought about it later on in life, I was like, yeah, I remember when. 
if it was constant, I may have done things a little bit different. Now, when I was young, I wanted to do and be everything. I wanted to be a lawyer. I wanted to be a fashion um, designer. I wanted to do so much. But the only thing about me not becoming any of those things is that I didn't have any goals. I don't know if I didn't set them because I didn't think I would reach them or I didn't set them because... Um, I thought my life was pretty much where it needed to be. I'm not sure why I didn't. I didn't know how to. I'm not sure if I expressed everything I wanted to do and be to other people. But, um, if you know a child who has a goal, help them. I don't care if they're 10 years old. Help them some type of way right now where they stand. Get to reach those goals when they're older. That's where it starts, right? But, um, he used to always tell me, with all the things that you want to do in life, you can't be anything but successful. And little things like that that he would say to me cheered me on, but my life went in another direction, too. I really didn't know what it was that he was trying to teach me. I didn't learn those lessons until later on. And that was after I met several cheerleaders in my life. Then when I got older... Then I realize the things that I like about myself are the attributes that I need to get me to where I want to go. Now, other things get in the way and stop you from doing those things, and that's a whole nother video. But it's up to you, of course, to fight it. But at the same time, while you're trying to reach your goals, be someone's cheerleader. It, it, like I said, it's so, so simple. Just to let someone know about the great things of, about themselves. That's it. And when they fall, let them know that that's just temporary. They'll get back up and you'll be there, right there on the sidelines cheering them on. Girl, if you have to put in that application, put that application in, child. See where it takes you. You never know. It, may, it won't hurt. Those are great things to always say to somebody. And like I said, you know somebody who, who sets goals. I don't care how simple it may be. Friday, I'm getting up and going to get my hair done right after I go food shopping. Cheer that girl on because you know she don't want to do it, girl. If you want me to, I'll go with you. It can be something so simple. Nothing has to be complex. But really, when it comes to children, cheer them on so big that their heads will never, ever fit in the room. I'm telling you, I really do believe in really being a cheerleader for a child because like I said you know children can want to do and be so much but then things get in their lives that um they don't accomplish the goals that they set for themselves unless there's some children who have tunnel vision and they go straight that way and things just align with how they prepare themselves for them to reach those goals some people that never happens like it never happened for me and because of that when I thought I was my happiest I necessarily wasn't and then my life went into another phase and then I realized I wasn't happy at all and sometimes when you're not happy your world comes tumbling down and that's okay because you can build it back up but it's a great thing when you have a cheerleader by your side now my mother when I was young I can't say she was really my cheerleader then and I can't even say I forgot any lesson, any of the lessons that she may have taught me to let me know she was cheering me on until I got much older. Now, I think she wanted to be my cheerleader. I just don't think she knew how. And that's no fault of her own because a lot of people don't realize that. You think that a lot of people have innate abilities and want to achieve, but they don't. So if you don't push them, they won't do the things that they may have in their head they want to do. But if you're cheering them on, how can they fail? Like I said, it doesn't have to be a relative. It doesn't have to be a child. It could be an adult. It could be your grandmother. She wants to enter a contest, baking contest. Be her cheerleader. Cheer her on loud enough. Girl, you can bake that cake. You can get it and you just might win. So simple, right? We in life need cheerleaders. We need people standing by us to let us know that we are good people, that we are great people, that we are destined to be the best, to do our best. And when we don't, it's okay. We can always get back on somebody's horse, a horse, the horse, whatever. But we definitely, definitely can do it. I have a lot of confidence in myself. Now, there's some days where my confidence does wane and I have to let myself know that if I keep feeling this way, I'm not going to get the things that I want so simple and you can do it 
But my main thing today is be a cheerleader to someone you know. Choose one person on your job, in your house, in your building. Somebody you know wants to do something so simple. Let them know the great things about themselves that will help them accomplish that goal. Especially a child. And I have a video titled something about helping children dream and reach their goals. And I'll try to link that below. But definitely, definitely latch on to some child your own or somebody else's and if you like me you have grown kids then make every kid that comes into your life someone that you're going to cheer on whether you speak to them every day once in a while twice a week cheer them on you do not know how big of a difference and influence you will make on somebody's life by letting them know that there are so many things that you appreciate and admire about them and they can do it. And when they fall and fail, you'll be right there to pick them up. Like I said, I've had many cheerleaders in my life. And I try to do that for a lot of other people. Some people may resist you. And that's okay. Don't give up and don't stop. You're not looking for a reaction. You're just wanting to plant a seed. So you tell them what you admire about them and you keep it moving. That's all you have to do. That's all you have to do. I'm going to end this video because the point that I wanted to make, I hope that I did without saying so much and trying not to make this video so long. It never, never works. I'm telling you, I can talk till the cows come home. And they'll be home and go back out and come back. But anyway, you get my drift. So like I said, be someone's cheerleader today. Just do it. So I'm going to end this video now because it's snowing and I want to look out the window because it's so pretty right now. It's gorgeous. So I want to thank you for stopping by and watching this video. Hopefully I'll see you in the next. And you know I want you to share and spread love. Hey cute people. Subscribe to my channel and check out my last three videos if you missed them. Also, I'm on Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram as Ebony Girl Speaks. Facebook, I'm Ebony Girl Speaks Naturally.